Hey YouTube, so today we're going to be addressing the recent drama that's been circulating around Genshin Impact, the community and everything regarding MiHoYo, how they're handling the first anniversary, and how the community feels and such, and, and what's the outcome of all of this. I've been talking about this briefly on my streams for the past two to three days or something, so like two, three days we've been talking about this over on my Twitch channel, and I haven't really made a video talking about it too much, I don't think. I did upload a video talking about the aftermath. But people are asking, commenting on recent YouTube videos and posts saying that they want to hear what I have to say about the whole glider situation, the anniversary, the one star review bombs and stuff like that. So we'll be covering all of that in this video with you guys. Now, this is recent information right here that we have. The Genshin Impact de developer response to fan frustrations. Assuming that this is real and this is legit, we'll be going over this article and saying what MiHoYo has to say about the situation, yeah? So right now it says, MiHoYo said fan feedback is quote unquote, really valuable. Genshin Impact developer MiHoYo says it's been paying close attention to the recent backlash surrounding the game's anniversary event, with more celebrations planned. More celebrations. In a statement issued to Games Radar, MiHoYo said we've been paying close attention to various feedback regarding Genshin Impact's first anniversary. We've also come up with more celebrations, including the upcoming Genshin Impact online concert. So it's not just the concert that is going to be the celebration. We have a little bit more to look forward to as well. Fingers crossed. Hopefully they talk more about that on 2.2. Yeah. And then thank you gifts to express our gratitude for players support all the way along. Quote unquote, the opinions and feedback from players and fans are really valuable to us. And we wish all fans will continue the adventure and collect more cherished memories in Tevat. So right there, that is basically the statement MiHoYo has given us regarding the concerns. It is nice that MiHoYo is acknowledging the community now, right? I don't know if they've always been acknowledging the community because it feels like sometimes whenever we send surveys and they ask for feedback, half the feedback we send isn't getting implemented into the game. Now, I do have to understand from like MiHoYo's point of view, right? I don't know how many they're getting and I can only imagine the type of feedback they're getting and the feedback is all just a bunch of copy pasta of Give me five star, give me five star, give me five star, make resin unlimited or something like that. Me, I've made countless videos talking about changes that we need in Genshin Impact, like artifact loadouts and stuff like that, and game replayable content. You name it, right? I think there are more important things at the matter here. But we'll see during the 2.2 live stream if they have anything else to say about this in regard to that. It is nice to know that they've they've heard, they've heard us, I guess, right? They, they are paying attention, which is nice. It is very nice. This, uh, the article keeps going on saying that there's been a fair bit of dissatisfaction brewing in the Genshin community for the last couple of months. That's very true. The art anniversary event has just been the icing on the top of the cake. Complaints about recent five-star characters not being up to scratch continue to grow or go largely ignored by MiHoYo. So I'm assuming this is like Yoi Mi and Kakomi. And then this was like the final nail in the coffin, right? So people were upset about Yoi Mia, people were upset about Kakomi, and then the anniversary was like, okay, MiHoYo, we've had enough. So yeah, that, that was the built-up frustrations that led to certain fans review bombing the game across the mobile store. Now, I want to say this right now, full stop, you do have a right to be upset. You do. You have a right to be upset, and you can give the game a one-star review if you feel dissatisfied with the game. By all means, voice your opinion, right? What is not okay, in my opinion, is giving every single mobile game out there a one-star review. Like, that does nothing. Your Mobile Legends, Azura Lane, Epic 7, FIFA, Pokemon Unite, Pokemon Go, Candy Crush, Among Us. It, it literally makes no sense, and the comments are, Genshin sucks. The Genshin rewards is too low. Genshin rewards suck. It's like, fix Genshin and How does that make any sense? It really doesn't make any sense. Not only are you embarrassing yourself, but you're also embarrassing the entire Genshin community and making everyone look bad, right? So anyone else who's out there, say new content creators, voice actors, new players who even think about wanting to play the game in the first place, and they're like, oh, hey, Genshin looks like a good game. Maybe I should give it a sh shot. They might think twice now before wanting to be a part of this community because of the backlash right here. Like. This is just immature, to say at best. This is childish. And I don't I don't get why people would do this to other games. Do it to Genshin Impact if that's how you feel. 
and you want to give the game a one star rating, but there is no justification going around every single game, mobile game, and giving it a one star view. There's literally no justification for that. Period. You're just embarrassing yourself and embarrassing the entire community. That's it. It's like someone gave me this analogy on stream earlier when we were talking about this. It's like going to a restaurant. You don't like the food at said restaurant. So you go to every other restaurant around the block and just keep saying, you know what? Fuck this restaurant. You just go in there and just say, it's like, it doesn't solve your issue. It doesn't solve your problem. You literally get nowhere. You're just wasting your time at that point. All right. I don't know who needed to hear that, but you are pretty much just wasting your time <clears throat> and making yourself look like a clown. Uh, so let's keep on going. Players were graced with a surprise gift yesterday of 400 Primo gems and a brand new glider. It's not sure if this was already planned as a surprise or a quick slap dash attempt. Um, so I want to talk about that right there. We did get something as the reward. And it was this. We ended up getting 400 Primo gems and the glider. You guys should have already gotten it on the mail if you guys did sign in. And this is what it looks like. Looks pretty good, right? Looks pretty good. Um, so my issue with this, though, is and also day two, day two while we're here. Day two was uh, two fragile resin and 400 primo gems. So going off of this, so far we've got 800 primo gems out of the two out of the four days. I do think that we will be getting 400 more primo gems on day three and then 400 on day four for a total of 1600. And then we'll have 10 wishes total that we can end up making. My only problem with this right here is I think that's a band-aid situation. That's a band-aid solution. The community was already upset about Yoimiya. They were upset about Kakomi. And then the anniversary rewards and stuff like that being the 10 wishes. Everyone was being very upset about that. I think this is a band-aid uh, solution. And the reason why is because if we go to the 2.1 patch notes. And you guys can take a look at this on the Horio Lab website and stuff. It says right down here. Number 8. I'll zoom in a little bit. It says there's going to be a new bundle. Boundless Symphony will be added to the shop at a later date. Purchasing this bundle will let you receive a special name card, Celebration, Tuneful Delight, a special furnishing, Splendid Phrase, and then a special Wind Glider. Wings of Poetic Melodies, and then also a thousand Primo Gems. You were supposed to purchase this in the shop at a later date. And now I thought about this and I kept going back and forth with my chat thinking like, hmm, what could this mean? Was it going to be free first and then, you know, whatever? No, no, no. I think that this is definitely the Band-Aid solution. MiHoYo looked at this situation and they were like, okay, anniversary, everyone's being upset. Everyone's upset right now. Screw the bundle. We're not going to sell it. We'll give it to everyone for free and hope that calms them down, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm expecting, this is my prediction, day three will probably be the furnishing piece, and then day four will be the will, will be uh, a name card. And if this was going to be a free uh, free rewards, they would have stated it in the in this uh, Q and A, much like they did Barbara. They state it first and say Barbara will be obtained for free by completing an event or whatever, right? It'll be obtained for free and then added to the shop at a later date. The fact that they never said it was going to be free and then added to the shop at a later date confirms that this was just going to be a bundle in the shop. And the only way to get these rewards was if you paid for it. That's it. You had to pay for that. That's basically what they're saying right here. So I don't know. I don't know. Band-Aid solution right there. Uh, it's nice that we do get them free now. <laughs> I'm assuming Mihoyo probably thought with the outrage, no one was going to want to buy this bundle, right? So they were like, probably thinking a better business move is just to uh, give it out for free. Because no one's going to be able to buy it or no one's going to want to buy it with the whole outrage. But, I mean, that's basically my thoughts so far with everything going on. I I'm still waiting until the 2.2 live stream to go live so we can see what they talk about. Of course, it was probably pre-recorded prior to all of this drama and everything going on. So I doubt they'll address the issues directly but maybe at the very end they can slap on a screenshot and say hey we're still listening maybe send out a tweet anything because all we have right now is this um little article this little article and um i'm assuming that it's credible <laughs> to say the least i'm assuming that it's credible but this this has to stop this has to stop because genshin impact 
You guys, you got I don't know how long you guys have been playing. I've been playing for 369 days, right? You guys, you guys know how frustrated I am for you because I just want the best for you. But we gotta stop this. We gotta stop this. We've been playing Genshin Impact, or at least I've been playing Genshin Impact for so long. I don't know how long you've played, but I know when you started playing the game, you probably had so much fun playing. You probably had so much fun playing, going around, exploring, finding all these new little treasures and, and puzzles and whatnot, and just overall having a great time with the combat, the music, anything, the story, whatever you name it, you know? All those great memories that you had with Genshin Impact. Like, the game hasn't changed. The game is still the same. It's still the same when you first started playing it, right? The anniversary rewards probably weren't what people were expecting. And right now, I don't think they're going to live up to our expectations at this point. With even the more rewards coming soon, more celebrations, I don't know if it'll live up to people's expectations. Because we're all having high expectations, all of our expectations are, are different than others. I'll be honest, I'm already over it. I'm already over it. I honestly just want the community to be unified again and we all go back on the same page. I want both parties to be happy. We all just go back to just enjoying the game like we always did. You know? The good times. Looking back at that one year uh, journey that MiHoYo provided us made me really miss the old days. You know? When, when this, <laughs> simpler times right then, you know? Of course, MiHoYo has a lot to improve. They still need to add a bunch of quality of life changes, some more end game content and, and repeatable content at that. I have a long list of things that I've talked about, many videos that I've made saying that we need these changes um, that I'm really hoping MiHoYo will take a look at. I don't think so. Uh, again, probably a small YouTube YouTuber, but yeah, I, I have my fingers crossed that things will get better in the future. I just want us all to be re reunited again want the community to go back to how it was because this is not a representation of what the Genshin community is. That's for sure. This is not a representation. And I and I feel really bad for other players out there who want to get into the game and this they're getting they're getting terrified just looking at this, right? Because at the end of the day, if you were to say right now, would you recommend playing the game for other people? Like, I feel like you wouldn't say no. You got to think, you got to put yourself back in your shoes when you start, first started playing the game. The game's still a phenomenal game. It's a free game. It's on every single system. Well, minus Nintendo Switch. A lot of cool, or story, voice acted. A lot of popular voice actors. Um, the combat feels nice. The music's great. Like, you know, there's so many boxes that got checked that a lot of other games don't have. All right. I think I've been rambling on for too long now. I'm going to wrap this video up. At the end of the day, the people who are the people who are um, making these one star reviews and doing that are probably the same type of person to still log into the game on Genshin Impact and make sure their resin is not capped and they're still spending their resin and stuff like that. And they're still buying the battle pass and they're still doing all of that, <laughs> you know, so. I don't know how to feel about this at the end of the day, right? I've already said my thoughts. My my emotions are all out there. I could be rambling on forever, just being confused and, and trying to understand their point of view on why they think this is valid. But yeah, hopefully things go back to the way it used to be. Hopefully MiHoYo starts improving on some later stuff, some content features and stuff like that. We talk about these things briefly over on my Twitch channel. If you guys do want to drop by, drop a follow. I'm live every single day. I, I have been live every single day for 369 days now. Still no days off, even though I've surpassed one year. So I will be live um, tomorrow, 9 a.m. EST, if you guys want to drop by. We can talk briefly about this, try and keep things a little bit civil. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, your thoughts down in the description. Uh, hopefully 2.2 will redeem, um, redeem. Yeah, hopefully there will be some redemption on 2.2 and some people can be happy and we can, we can start moving on from here because it's getting to the point where a lot of people are starting to feel entitled and they are expecting so many massive things, and I don't think MiHoYo is going to provide that, right? So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to subscribe. Be a part of the um, YouTube community. And I will see you guys in the next one.